Morning, fellas. It's the 14th of June here in the backyard, Franklin Mountains. Beautiful day so far, but it's going to get up to 90 degrees. Finally got the pool semi-pimped out. Just uh, cleaned the filter, which saves me uh, $150. It's just below 10 PSI, pounds per square inch. Um, it's crazy. You know, I'll do the yard, and then the wind will come in, and a couple of wind gusts, and it blows blows crap all over the back of the yard off the palm trees so i might have to get those uh fixed let me water some of the plants that is a lime tree that is rosemary those are pineapples here are a couple of nopals it's a form of cactus that has what's called a cactus pear uh, it's pretty good eating, but you got to be careful with it. So you don't eat the seeds, the simians. Um Anyways, got to tell you a crazy story about how tough life gets for women as they get older. Uh, I ran into a lady twice yesterday. Once at the GECU credit union because I had to go figure out some crap with one of my accounts. Uh, and while I'm standing in line... There's a lady who I know as a bartender. Well, I know her now as a bartender and a waitress, so she has two jobs right now. Uh, she has four kids by three different baby daddies, and she loves the bad boys. So how I initially meet her is uh, where my wife works, she has to go to uh, social functions. So we're going to kind of like what's called a formal. Uh, wasn't dancing and that pretty much... Um, I think it's called a cocktail party. And we're going around there and da-da-da-da-da. And um, a lot of people come up. And my wife handles promotions, not HR, but promotions and interviews and stuff like that. So uh, a lot of people go out of their way to talk to her about stuff. And um, an anesthesiologist, good-looking guy, comes up with this girl on his arm who ends up being the, bar the 51-year-old bartender. She's okay, but she's not really dressed. She's got the anyway skinny little bony thing. Uh, anyways, because she can't stay away from the bad boys, the anesthesiologist ended up kicking her to the curb. And she evidently she didn't tell him that she had four girls. <laughs> Instant family of five guys. Sign right up. You can sign up here. Fifty-one year old bony bartender waitress. So anyway, I didn't know she had the waitress job. So. Um, as she she has to pay an overdue check, uh, and then uh, and I only know that because I was uh, right in back of her, and she asked me if she could talk to me outside. So I walked outside, and she asked me if she could borrow some money, and I told her no. And I got about ten feet away, and you hear you fucking oh, you effing a hole, and she just looked so mad and frustrated. It's not like you don't have the money, and I was like, wow, just ignored her, walked away. So uh, later, uh, uh, yesterday evening, uh, we didn't want to cook. So we uh, went to a restaurant called Delicious. And guess who was one of the waitresses there? It's just, I can't imagine having to work two entry-level jobs just to make ends meet. And she just couldn't stay away from the bad boys. All I'm going to tell you is uh, here in the United States, you can bankrupt yourself. If you get sick, if you don't have somebody to care for you, drive you to the hospital, look out for you or look out for your children. God forbid something happens to you. Ladies, 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 you had many, many, many opportunities to make peace with us. Good average men and you chose not to. And now you're getting older. <laughs> you don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. I don't need a man. But you'll let your brother help you. You'll let your uncle help you. You'll let your father help you. You'll let a grandfather help you. You'll let a cousin help you. You know, a guy. <laughs> Fucking the, the uh, hypocrisy is uh, beyond ludicrous. So I got a couple of big words out of the way. I, I just think it's hilarious, guys. You guys stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourself. It's starting to happen. It's all fun and games till you hit the wall. Plant face first in the wall, and oh, by the way, you got four kids. Oh, man, that is too much risk for any man. 
Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.